We'll have your company this morning. Thanks for joining us. Today we are at Pearl of Africa Hotel and we're bringing you what will be happening in just a few days from now. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey has been pretty long and it's always great to listen in to the people that have heard the journey. She's not new on the show. You've known her, you've seen her for yourselves and you love her. Yeah, that's for real. The people love you. Ladies and gentlemen, join me. Welcome, mini little Miss Africa. Uh, she's the reigning and she'll be soon handing over the crown. How does that feel? Um, it feels very exciting and sad somehow yeah. because I don't want to hand over my position, but just give it an open yeah, door to someone else. It's the else. world. It's the world at some point you're forced to. Like what you love and give opportunity to let others yeah, enjoy yeah. it. Ladies and gentlemen, join me. Welcome Queen Tyra Abok. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, David. Kindly introduce yourself to the viewers watching us. Um, hello, viewers. Thank you so much for tuning with us today. I'm Queen Tyra Abok, the reigning Mini Miss Africa. I'm a child advocate. I'm the ambassador. I'm an actress, a motivational and inspirational speaker, a high fashion and commercial model, and yeah. I'm very happy to be here today. All right, so we're having the second edition of Little Mr. and Miss Africa. Yeah. And you happen to be the queen that was, you're crowned about a few years ago as the last mini. Last year. Last yeah. year. Yeah. As the mini, as the mini Little Miss Africa. How yeah. is the feeling? Let's start from there. Um, first of all, okay, um, I'll start from the very beginning, how I got there. All right. How I got to Little Miss Africa was a very interesting journey. First of all, um, I was new to the industry. I didn't know much. Um, my mom met with Mr. Dyson. Mr. Dyson is the national director of Little Miss and Miss World. I mean, Africa. So my mom met with him and he introduced to her the idea of me joining. Um, my mom told me about it. I mm. was very open to the idea and I accepted immediately. Okay. That is how I got registered for it. Um, secondly, the boot camp. The boot camp was very tough. So those people may be hearing the word boot camp for their first time. First time. What happens in the boot camp? Um, a boot camp is like where they train you basically what's going to happen in the pageant mm -hmm. and how the pageant is going to be like. So the boot camp was very interesting. We trained here at the prestigious Palo of Africa Hotel. My God, how did you manage? Because this place is just wowing. Yeah, like every day of the week, how did you manage to keep in this space? It was just overwhelming, like mm -hmm. so overwhelming. Okay. The boot camp was tough. We had to dance. We had to do some gymnastics. We had to do basically a lot. Mm. But I worked hard. I pushed through the boot camp, but it was interesting. I got to meet different people, new friends, because there were different participants from different countries. I got to meet them, speak to them, and learn about their culture. So I might say the boot camp was adventurous. All right, that's beautiful. So we reached the D day, the big day of you getting crowned. How did it start? Because I understand you, you, you said the day kick starts with a lot of tension, preparing, yeah. do this, do that, rehearsals, getting sure that you have each and everything on your fingertips. Share with me that specific day. How was it? The specific day. So I woke up and the funny thing is that I didn't realize it was the day. How come? Because I was not prepared for the day, let's oh, say. I feel you. But then... I check the calendar and it is the day. I reach the venue, I get ready, we start training, which was intense than how the boot camp was. Yes. Because it's the D day. Yeah, yeah, it's the big day. We needed perfection, like they needed perfection. Mm. So we train, we do everything, set up the stage, okay. lights, people start coming, and then everything happens. So I was the host of the event, but trust me, okay, I've been on a couple of events, but that one, it seemed so exotic. It wasn't yeah. Ugandan. It didn't look Ugandan. It was like international. I know, right? Yeah. I know, like, okay, me being the host, I happen to be like, not in the bracket. So you're the contestants who are like the best reasons why people were there. Tell me, the first time you made your appearance on stage, the lights, the claps, the shouts, how okay. did you go in with through that? 
my first appearance i must say that it went pretty well okay because i didn't expect it to go that well it it was amazing everyone was clapping the judges were happy i was confident so basically i was just not tension not like suspenseful about my first appearance so all right it was perfect so what was your favorite scene of the entire show because i understand there is always that one you have on your memory the vivid one what was it the, the time I was being crowned when they said my name as the queen okay. how everyone jumped on the stage to hug me the the stage lights the claps the congratulations that glitz and glam exactly. I fail you I get yeah. you so you were crowned that night and boom you're taking on not only a title but with it it comes with responsibility yeah so tell me how your journey has been from that night to date show me Okay, um, first of all, my journey as the Mini Miss Africa has been interesting. I took on a bigger responsibility than I expected. Well, as the Mini Little Miss Africa, I've been using my crown to advocate for the rights of children. Mm. I have followed up on like lots of child abuse cases, working hand in hand with the Uganda police. Namely, I've worked with Afande Enanga, Afande Ogwang Francis and Afande Onyango. Um, I have as well been doing motivational videos because I'm a motivational speaker. I have done a lot. I have using my crown. I have joined the movie industry as well. Oh, congratulations! Worked, thank you. Mm. I've worked with international and Ugandan movie productions. <laughs> I have basically done a lot. I have managed to mobilize resources, mm. organize awareness workshops, so many things that you can imagine. Wow. Just wow. in 365 days. That's very beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about COVID because before we know it, after you being crowned, boom, COVID falls in place. I understand it limited you. So besides COVID being a challenge, what are some of the challenges you faced on your journey as many little Miss Africa? The main challenge that I would say I have faced is balancing school with all that oh, I do. Yes. I fail. I face the same challenge. It's hectic. <laughs> Very hectic. First of all, um, some days I miss school. Mm. Though I don't miss out on what I've learned, I miss school and it just feels like, okay, I become sad because I don't want to miss seeing my friends at school as well. I struggle to read because let's say I have like for example i'm having this interview and at home i have pending homework and i've not yet done it i, I get home and i'm like let me fast sleep the entire process of preparation sleep, traveling struggle to do everything it's mm. like stressful I get but you. thankful i managed to work through it and yeah i'm doing good yeah that's great how have you been able to balance because i understand you must set your principles right your uh, priorities it's very important so have you been able to kick through with the balancing well some days since covid brought for us online mm. some days i do online studying okay as an alternative for yeah, you yeah okay to that, help me. that's so great. i do online studying like from um eight to three and then i'm done and then i go do my other work processes but the thing is when you do online studying it's worse it's like bad because i like practical and i understand this when i'm online yes and the second way i manage to balance is by just having all of my books at home and just reading them and according to the timetable subject that i have wow that takes a person with a lot of energy it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot. Yeah. You see, when people see us here in the cameras and the glams and the lights, do then they think, well, oh, these guys are having fun. But behind <laughs> it lies a lot of hard work, stress and all that. But congratulations, because... So, I understand now your life had to change a bit. You're, you, you have more responsibilities. You're a student. You must be a daughter at home. But now the crown is soon leaving. What's next? Well... Even though the crown is leaving, mm. I will still get another big crown. Oh. Yes. Um, I'm going to Dubai for Little Miss and Mr. United World. Congratulations. In oh. four Where days. do you stay that? What do you do that I don't do? Because <laughs> the opportunities are kind of many. Basically, it's about hard work. Like, hard work. Yeah, staying up all night and all that. 
Yeah, okay. so I'm so happy because that is a big opportunity. It is. And once I win that, that will come with more stress and more responsibility. So stress is just not going anywhere. It's increasing yeah. every day that goes yeah, by. Yeah, but I'll still be happy because it will be a bigger opportunity. Opportunity and yeah. it comes a lot of other advances to yeah. yourself. All right, so let's talk about what's happening this year. You know, we've talked about what happened before, currently. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this year on the 15th of April, all roads will be leading to the prestigious Pearl of Africa Hotel. Did you hear me? 15th April, all roads will be here at the prestigious Pearl of Africa Hotel as Uganda once again will be hosting the Little Mr. and Miss Africa Grand Finale. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear me right? Did you hear me right? What are you waiting for? So, let's first talk about that. How how are you what are your expectations well my expectations are very high mm -hmm. because i heard that we're going to have participants from all the countries of yes Africa. yes i've been told we're having so far we've confirmed with over 10 yeah. 10 content countries from the black man's continent will all be here yeah and it's very high very high expectations and very beautiful and i hear that the boot camp is going to be very fun for them mm -hmm. um the, the d-day is going to be very big opening ceremony and all that and i just wish a good luck to all of the participants thank you so much i'm thanking them on their behalf i'm not participating but <laughs> i'll be hosting so wow. personally so you, you you'll be playing a very significant role on the event being that you'll be handing over and you're going to be of course having to be a very good example to all these young people that will be crowned on the night of course the best girl and the best gentleman will be going back home with the, with, the, with the pleasures and the honors so how have you prepared yourself for this particular responsibility um i've prepared myself in in i've prepared myself mentally and physically i know that the crown is leaving but it doesn't mean that i'm going to lose my title mm. Um, I'll just be giving an opportunity to someone else and maybe I'll be that person's mentor. The next mini Little Miss Africa, I may be her mentor, teaching her like the path, the yes. right path to go. Guiding her so throughout. it's basically like I'm becoming an elder to someone than a person being an elder to me. So it's more of responsibility still. Yeah. Wow. I, I like, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. <laughs> Gonna be a doctor? You're already taking on a path in the art world. Where does the passion come from? My dad. Oh, he's a doctor. Mm, good for you. Good for you. So I've heard we've heard about that. I'll be hosting the event once again, and you know when I get the mic. So let's <laughs> talk about. So I hosted la the previous edition. Tell me, how did you feel me being the host? Well, you were very, 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 very extremely hyper. All right, like, <laughs> like that's why I think everyone went back home mm. when they had cough because they were laughing so so much because of me. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. So actually, I, I previously I wasn't much into events. I was so much on TV yeah. until someone gave me an idea. But David, you can make a good MC. Yeah. And I thank the entire team and management of Little Mister and Miss Africa because they trusted me. I didn't have that good uh, experience. Sometimes I had to go back, and I'm like. What am I missing? What have I said? Have I missed it? Have I missed a word? But they get trusted me. And guess what? Also this year, I'll be owning the mic on the day. You know wow, what I mean? I'll be hosting. So that makes the event better. You know, I'll be hosting <laughs> the event. So as you we're just inviting you to come and join us. Come invite a friend to invite a friend. We are happening 15th April. Mark the debt we're going to be sharing with you some of the price uh, we'll be sharing with you how you'll be getting a part of the event but we'll be having over 10 countries and more we'll all be here at the pearl of africa hotel ladies and gentlemen let's return shortly i'm david